Gate BYP testing the mechanical VFO in the TR3. It's called PTO. There's a, a mechanical knob and a lead screw and a plastic nut and special bushing and special mechanism I designed. That slug down in there, the, the gray looking thing behind the white, that's a tuning slug and that VFO has a tuning rate of, are you sitting down? One cycle per one millionth of an inch. One cycle for 0. 0.00001 inch. It tunes 500 kilohertz and half an inch, so do the math. That is extremely touchy. And I just found, well, I'd found earlier, but I saw proof of it yesterday that there was a whole bunch of heat drifting up through the chassis right up under that sensitive mechanism, so I blocked it off and I put shielding around it so the tubes don't heat the unit. But you're not going to believe the stability of this plain, ordinary, permeability-tuned VFO. What I have here is the Rigel generator with the high-resolution frequency counter. It counts up to nine, pla nine places. It's reading 302.296 something, something, something cycles. It's 21.30 o'clock somewhere in Europe, and I'm going to push clear to clear these this statistical deviation setting on this counter. So what it's doing is at every count, and what's the count? I think the count's set on every second or so. Yeah, it's set on one second count period. But it's 2130. I'm going to pause this video and come back in five minutes and show you the jaw-dropping result. Okay, I let it go six minutes. Still ticking away. But over here on the counter, look at this unbelievable result. See the frequency, 270, whatever. 234 counts, which are seconds. Frequency, mean. Statistical deviation, seven cycles. And it's counting up just a little bit. Me leaning, me, me moving on the floor, leaning on the bench. I'm leaning my arm on the bench. It's going to shift the radio slightly. Um, there'll be some more warm up in the mechanism. It's varied 7.3 cycles in 254 seconds. When the thing first, when I first turn the count off, or the, the uh, deviation, let me hit clear and watch it. SDEV, third entry. It's changing, maybe if I quit talking, it's changing, that small m is millihertz, half of a cycle in 11 counts. And, and it, it is drifting slightly one way or the other. It is, it is exceedingly difficult to get a mechanism with that fine of resolution down to where it's not going to move around because if, if I tighten it up too much a thing will bind it's it's so so free now that I can take this piece of paper and watch the watch the flutes on the knob I can tune it with a piece of paper that's how that's how good I've got the mechanism, and those there's no there's not much wind up when I move it, and then let go. It doesn't keep drifting. It it lands right on frequency, and it's extremely smooth. Okay, there I've set a frequency. Let's pop the clear button and see what it does. About 388 cycles. It doesn't like being moved, does it? It takes a little while to settle down. About two cycles. Man, that's touchy. It, it's going to be difficult for that radio to hold those numbers. A couple of cycles? I don't know. I'm not sure that Yesu can do that. May, maybe longer term it can, being a PLL. But that, that is, this is extremely good performance for, for mechanical VFO. So,
Now I've got to do some heating and cooling cycles and make sure that it's that it's correct. It's still got, I think I can still take a little bit of slop out of it, but really not much. It's hard to get much better than this. Okay, BYP out.